should the Sussexes kind of basically just stay away or show up and risk being booed? We are joined by the historian, Dr Tessa Dunlop, who says they absolutely must attend. And social commentator Lynn May, who thinks it would be disingenuous to accept the invitation. And why is that, Lynn? Because they have been so critical. Do you think they would be booed, like the Newsweek Royal Correspondent they, suggested? They probably will. They're damned if they do, damned if they don't. However, I think no matter which side you lay uh, in terms of your opinion of Harry and Meghan, it's disingenuous if they come, they'll lose credibility even more so, because they've gone with this narrative that almost that they're oppressed, they've suffered with the royal family. And my thing is this, if Harry is genuine about keeping the door open like he said, then there should be a level of uh, conversation around that to say, do you know what, I've said enough, I've said my experience, now I want to heal with my family, maybe meet them uh, in private prior to coming so we can repair. There's no conversation about repairing the relationship, right. so why would they even want to come? So unless you say, uh, we are coming, we'd like private uh, talks, we really want the family to be reunited and move on, mm -hmm. you think they should say no? They should say no, okay. yes. Well, they do slag off the royal family all the time. Uh, we saw it again at the weekend in, uh, in this extraordinary counselling session that, that, that Harry gave. But really, it, I, I have to say I agree with you. Why would you want to come? It would be incredibly hypocritical of them to yeah. show up to, to, to the wedding of, of a man who they've really taken to task, and his family. It's funny you use the word wedding, because it does feel a bit like Sorry, that. Sorry, coronation. It? No, it's a a bit coronation, but, but actually <laughs> there is this... It's a, a domestic spectacle enveloped in this state institution, this mm. state event. Um, I watched also that one and a half hours, it was quite long, mm. a sort of, you know, uber extended therapy session. I thought that actually Harry didn't throw any big grenades at his family on this occasion. I think we need to step right back. Why? And by the way, I didn't sleep last night, so I had a lot of time to think about why are we still in the grip of this, not just national psychodrama, mm. actually global one that crosses the Atlantic. What is it about Harry and Meghan, about the institution of monarchy? And actually, peel it back. Uh, Virginia Woolf, in the early 20th century, said of the royal family, because we were like this then, she said, our insatiable appetite for them and what they do is because they live and we live in them. Harry and Meghan, she's not Greta Garbo, he's not Alexander the Great. No, They're actually no. weirdly quite ordinary in this extraordinary position. Yeah. And what they've done is they've behaved like rebellious teenagers. They're pushing not only against daddy, but also against their school. And now what we're asking them to do is, mm. we hear you, you did it in a slightly clumsy way. You're right, there are fault lines there that need examined. But come back and go to the end of term ceremony. Climb out of the bedroom and do it for you and for them. Yeah. Be broad shouldered, like the monarchy also needs to be. Even though they've been incredibly rude about Camilla, about the Queen Consort. Do you know, really rude about her. I don't think they've been incredibly rude. I, I think do. that's stoking it, Richard. I think that's what the media tends to do. If you read the memoir, yeah, he has issues with his stepmother, mm. likewise his brother. But most people who have brothers over 40 note that they're balding and have had a fisty cuss with them. Most people with a stepmother have a few issues. The problem is when your family is also an institution, and Harry has likewise suffered for that, the style of parenting. His grandmother unable to hug him mm. because she was actually, first and foremost, the institution before being the grandmother. OK. So no, that, no, 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 sorry, I don't agree. If, you've, if, if they have got all of these issues, they've not dealt with any of these issues. We, we've heard racism. We've heard that he doesn't feel like he belongs. We've heard that there's almost abusive relationship between him and William. Mm. All of these issues, why would you then want to come? I would look at them and say, well, was this all a money-making scheme and for attention? I thought you wanted privacy and we know this is a monumental moment for King Charles and it won't be about him, it's going to be about them. No, actually, it's, it's far more about them if they're not there. Let, let's just remember, they said they would honour the king. I got suspended several times from school. I still went to that end of term ceremony. I felt my authentic self didn't belong in the institution, but I respected a few of the teachers. It's not your family, it, though. But, it's not, it's but not your family. The point is, he was born into this weird hybrid, which, as a nation, we have this weird love hate relationship with. So does Harry. Cut him some slack, cut them some but why slack. why is it more about them if they don't show up? I couldn't disagree with you more. I think if they don't show up, that'll be mentioned, that'll be covered, but then we'll get on with the ceremony. Because it, it will be flat, it will be noticed. It, and also, it's being played out slightly along national lines as well, sort of America versus Britain, although it isn't, it's far more complex than that. And it will, it will reduce our monarchy. I think it will 
prevent it from being the global institution we need it so to be. So you think it will reduce the monarchy yes, if I they do. don't go? Yes. You think there's a danger at They don't want to be a part of the monarchy. They've made it yeah. quite no, clear. I'm that sorry, they that's where you're wrong, Lynn. It's okay. very clear mm. that he is still a monarchist. Do you think they'll get booted? But he, he's if made do, it clear do, that he almost wants this normal life. You can't so, have it both ways. If they do show up, do you think, as a, a royal correspondent said to us earlier on the show today, do you think they'll get booed? Well, I think we've seen the poll. It's 50-50, it's isn't we'll it? We'll come so back to that. There, there's there's going to be... There's gonna it's be, actually 60-40. Um, oh, is it 60-40 no, now? No, they should not oh. accept the Lynn's coronation. Lynn's trumped me. Yes, oh. uh, and we have to leave, <laughs> I'm afraid we have to leave the debate there um, because we do have to get back to current political issues.